Imagine you can earn $100,000 or more a year selling a product that number one took you one weekend to create, cost you $0 to make, that you can sell again and again and again, 100% passively to people all over the world for free. In this video, you're going to learn the simple five-step process for starting a digital product business from scratch, including exactly how many products you need to sell per day to make $100,000 a year or more. Hint, it's not that many. Hey, I'm Natalia from Natalia.com, and at this point, I've built two six-figure businesses focused specifically on selling digital products for people from all over the world. Digital products can be eBooks, digital courses, membership site, master classes, live trainings, presets, email courses, and so much more. It's essentially where you take something that you know from your mind and you translate it onto digital paper and turn it into a product so that you can sell it again and again and again without you having to invest the time or to be there yourself, right? Essentially, it's a way of productizing yourself and turning what you know and your brand into a product that you can sell passively all over the world. Unlike selling physical products, the advantages of selling digital products are huge. Number one, you actually have zero cost in creating those products. Number two, you have absolutely no cost when it comes to shipping or returning your products because it, it's digital so people can download it in a second and number three these products can be sold for a lot of money anywhere from free or one dollar to online courses who are sold for three thousand five thousand and more every single day and still even though this kind of business makes a lot of sense and is extremely beginner friendly most people still fail to actually create this kind of business successfully because they spend most of their time focusing on the unimportant parts and aspects of this business instead of focusing on the few things they need to do that will actually move the needle and generate the kind of success that they want to have. And so in this video, I'm going to dive into my computer, open my whiteboard and walk you through the five needle movers, the five most important things you have to focus on in order to build your own six figure digital product business that earns you $100,000 or more every single year selling these kinds of digital products under your own brand right I'm also gonna walk you through the math for making this work so that by the end of this video you will know the exact five things you need to focus on and act on every single day in order to bring your dream online product business into life so with that being said let's dive into my computer and let's begin okay so the first thing that you want to do if you want to start a successful digital product business is to choose a problem any kind of problem that you can solve for other people, right? And this comes down to one of the most important aspects of building any kind of business where people get all tangled up in, and that is money, money earning. The question that I wanna ask you right now is, why do people pay money for stuff? Why would you take your wallet out and give money to another person? And the answer is because that person gave you some kind of value in exchange for your money in a way that made sense to you, meaning the amount of money that you're giving that other person seemed lower or equal to the amount of value that you actually got from that other person. Right? And so once you enter into the digital product business, you have to truly understand what creates value. What do people consider valuable? And in this case, I will let you know that people have five main things that they consider valuable and are willing to pay for in the information product world. The first thing is people will pay you to solve them a problem. They will pay you to save them time or money. They will pay you for convenience. I don't know how to spell that word, so it's probably wrong, but you get the point. <laughs> meaning they will pay you to make something extra convenient, meaning you might know something that you've already shared on YouTube a thousand times before, but if you're gonna put it in a product in a way that makes sense and is convenient for a person to consume, other people will be willing to pay for it, even though that kind of content already exists online for free. The next thing people will pay for is status. If you can provide them with something that will increase their uh, sense of status, People will pay for it. Think about people who buy Lamborghinis or maybe Rolex watches. These are people who pay for status. And lastly, people will pay for entertainment. I don't know how to spell that word again, so just imagine that this means entertainment, meaning to pass their time, to have fun, to forget about their problems. This is the last form of value. This is where you see the movie industry, talk shows, game shows, etc., etc. 
Now, out of all of those things, when you're creating your product, my advice to you, if you're a beginner and you wanna make 100K a year as fast as you can, focus on solving somebody a problem that they have. And the best form of problem that you can probably solve is a problem that you've previously solved for yourself. So for example, did you manage to lose weight even though you've tried for years and failed again and again and again? You can teach other people to do the same. Did you uh, teach yourself how to play the guitar without breaking the bank and paying some tutor a ton of money, but you did it from home on your own? You can teach other people how to do the same. Did you learn how to master your own hair and makeup routine every single day in order to look the best that you can in under 15 minutes a day? You can teach other people how to do that as well. And if you need any more ideas, there are literally endless amounts of niches and problems that you can solve other people. And let me show you. There are the normal problems that you can solve, like helping people earn more money, for example. But what about, for example, this book where people literally teach others how to take care of their German Shepherd dog. This is the German Shepherd handbook. This book is actually one of the best sellers uh, in a place called ClickBank. You can teach people the Korean beauty secrets of how to create flawless skin, the way to a vegan heart, how to cook healthy vegan recipes, this product where the woodworking, this guy actually shares plans for creating woodworking projects with other people. Again, this is a best-selling product that made millions and millions and millions of dollars, etc, etc, etc. You do not have to get into a niche that's all about making money, uh, trading forex or stocks or crypto or yada yada. Don't listen to this bro mentality. Just take something that you've already solved for yourself a problem that you successfully solved and that you actually would enjoy teaching other people as well and just create the product about that. Don't overcomplicate this. Remember, your digital product does not need to save the world. All you have to do is to help someone with a small problem that they're stuck with. Help them solve a problem and you will get paid. That's it. Let's move on to the second step. And the second step in creating and starting your own digital product business is once you know exactly what is the problem that you help people solve is to essentially lay out your solution framework. And what this means is what are the steps that a person has to take in order to go from a situation where they have a problem to where they no longer have this problem, right? If you're teaching somebody how to play the guitar from scratch, what are the five things that they need to learn along the way in order to become a competent guitar player, right? Maybe in the beginning you wanna teach them some chords. Maybe later you wanna teach them how to do this thing with their fingers, which I don't know how it's called. Maybe you need to teach them, like step number three will be to play like a very, very simple song. Step number four will be a more advanced song, etc etc right maybe you help people to create a capsule wardrobe that they will be proud of and that will save them time and money while getting dressed in the morning so maybe step number one is to figure out their body shape and what works for them maybe step number two is to figure out their color scheme what kind of colors do you want in their uh, wardrobe maybe step number three is to figure out what kind of shapes and silhouettes will be will work best for them based on their body shape and the colors that they choose etc etc what is the process you're taking people step number one step number two step number three in order to solve their problem for example in this video I literally am laying out my solution framework for you to start your own digital product business right so step number one is to figure out what kind of problem are you going to solve step number two is to design your solution framework right again don't overcomplicate this and my advice to you is go for anywhere between five to ten steps and no more right? If you're going to make this way too complicated, like 27 steps to achieve yada, 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 this is going to be way too difficult, especially as a beginner. So just think about what are the most basic steps that somebody can go through. And if you find yourself feeling like you're getting tangled up with this, just choose a smaller problem, right? If you feel like it's getting too much and you start feeling overwhelmed because there are like so many steps that people need to take, what it usually means is that you chose a problem that's way too broad for you as a beginner to solve right now. So just choose a smaller product, a smaller problem that you can potentially solve. Now step number three, starting your own digital product business, is to actually choose and create your digital product. Now, here you have literally endless options, right? You can choose to create an ebook, you can choose to create a digital course, you can choose to create an email course, 
etc 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 i won't go through all of the list of the products but generally speaking you have many different options but the only thing that you need to know in order to make the decision is the following the price of your product will be determined by the type of media in which you will deliver your product right text being the lowest meaning if you're going to sell a text-based product like a pdf or an ebook it's going to be the thing that is priced the lowest then after that, you will have audio. For example, let's say that you're selling an audio course like Anthony Robbins' programs, which are amazing, by the way, are like 30 days of audio uh, programs where I can listen to on my way to work, etc., etc. The next level is video. And this is where video courses, masterclasses, etc., etc. get in. And lastly is coaching. This is where you give out your personal time, whether it be for one person at a time or for people as a group. Um, and that will be the most expensive thing that you can sell as an expert building a digital product business, right? So in this step, once you have your framework, I want you to think about what will make the most sense for you in order to deliver your product. For example, if you are teaching people how to play the guitar, it's probably not the best idea to only teach them via audio, right? Because then they will literally not see what you're doing and it will be very, very difficult for them to learn. Same goes for text. Even though there are many guitar books, we actually have a few at home, it's not the best experience to learn from them, right? So if you're selling a course like teaching people how to play the guitar, you probably wanna go for a video course, right? Because it makes the most sense for this particular topic, right? But other than that, other than the topic, it really is up to you. For example, I'm in the marketing space, so it's relatively easy for me to create any of these. I can create an ebook, I can create an audio course, I can create a, um, a video course, I can sell coaching, etc., etc. The only question is, what will I decide? What will be the easiest for me to create right now? And the best advice that I can give you um, when it comes to this particular step is don't overcomplicate this. This is your first product. The only goal that you have with this product is to get it through the door, right? To make sure that it's done is to start and to start selling your first 10 units. That's the only thing you want to think about, right? So out of all of these, think about what will be the easiest for you to create and just create that right? Just take a weekend and say, by the time Sunday is over, I want to have this product done. Cool. What will be the best way for me to do? Should I choose an ebook and just open Canva and do this in like three hours? Should I just kickstart my Loom software, which is a software that essentially captures my video screen and just deliver a two hour masterclass? What will be the easiest for you? Just get it done and move on to the next step. And I wasn't planning to, but I'm just going to give you a quick pro tip here. My advice to you, if you're just getting started, just go for the video to our masterclass model, right? It's the easiest one to create. That's where you take like a specific small thing that you can help people solve and just shoot yourself for two hours on Loom, walking people through the concepts on how to solve that problem. For most people that I've worked with, this proved to be the most effective thing that they did that essentially required the least amount of resistance and that helped them get a product through the door as quickly as they can. So my advice to you will be a video course, no more than two hour long, not like a huge course with like 60 modules, but only like a two hour long uh, masterclass, um, maybe even an hour long masterclass. And that's pretty much it. That's my advice to you. If I were you, that's what I would do. All right, so step number four in starting your own digital product business is to actually set sales goals. Right, And what do I mean by sales goals? I mean that you have your product already done. Now you have to figure out how many pieces of this product you have to sell every single day in order to hit your goals. And the reason why this is important is because out of the goals that you will have, you will essentially begin determining what kind of actions you need to take in order to make those goals happen. And let me quickly walk you through a quick example. So if you wanna earn 100K a year, that essentially means that you need to generate approximately $8,333 a month, which are approximately $278 a day, right? That's already getting my anxiety level much, much lower because all I need to do is to figure out how to earn $278 a day every single day, and I will reach my goal of making $100,000 a year. Now, for a product that is sold for approximately 50 bucks, let's say like a teeny tiny online course, that means that we'll need approximately six sales a day. 
And if I sell a product that is costing approximately $150, that will mean that I need approximately three sales a day. In my opinion, when you put it like that, when you start thinking about, well, how many sales do I actually have to generate per day in order to earn a salary that's one of the highest ranking salaries in a rich country like the United States, I think that things really start getting into perspective and you really start to understand the opportunity that comes in the digital product market. Because you can literally take a weekend, create a digital course that is about two hour long, price it for approximately $150 and all you need to do is to generate three sales a day. Now, how are those sales generated? Super duper easy. What you need to do is you will take your product and you will create some form of a sales page where you just walk people through what are the basic benefits of this product, right? If you have this problem, I have this product, here's how it solves your problem, here's how life will look like once this problem no longer exists, buy it now, right? And technically speaking, if you're going to use a program like Gumroad, you can actually set this entire page up in less than 30 minutes. So let's say that you have your sales page and you have your goal of having three sales a day. So approximately, when we do basic calculations, a sales page that is um, average, let's say, should convert at approximately one and a half percent meaning out of 100 people that will come to your sales page, approximately one and a half people will buy your course. And let me explain why this is helpful for us. If I'm going to divide three by one and a half percent, that means that I need 200 people every single day to come into my sales page, 200 people, in order to get out my three sales. That's all I need to do to figure out how can I get 200 people to come into my sales page every single day in order for me to make $100,000 of extra income per year. And that math actually takes us to the last step of building your own digital product business because the last step is all about building your traffic, meaning building the system that will allow you to create the situation where 200 people every single day will come and see your product, right? And this kind of system is built through, if you know me by now, either content creation, that's number one, it can be built through collaborations, where let's say you will go to other influencers and tell them, I have this product, please help me sell it, and have like a percentage of the profits or whatever it is, or you can use ads advertising. Now, out of all of those three ways, I would recommend work your butt off to make this happen. Content creation. Start figuring out how can you create a content system that will be large enough for you to be able to eventually generate 200 clicks every single day into your sales page so that you can generate your three sales a day and earn your 100k a year. That's it. That's how a digital product business looks like. That's how it operates. That's how you win. Number one, you choose a product to solve. Number two, you lay out the solution that you have, your framework to solve that problem. Number three, you create a digital product out of it and price it. I would recommend price it low at the beginning, anywhere from $49 to $149 per product. Then number four, put your goals in place. Choose how many sales do I need to generate every single day in order to make my income revenue goals happen. And then lastly, start building the traffic, start building the system that will allow you to generate those sales every single day. So I hope this video has made sense and allowed you to see how a digital product business is not that hard to create. It's probably the biggest opportunity that our generation has ever had because in order to create that kind of income um, for well, let's say our parents or even our grandparents, do you know what they had to go through in order to generate that kind of an income from their own business? They had to figure out the cost and the products and hire a space in order to sell product, etc., etc., etc. Literally, the only thing that our generation has to do is to grow an account, like an Instagram account or a TikTok account, and then send people into a page that we spent. 30 minutes building in order to buy a product that we spent a weekend creating. And that's it. You will have this kind of income for life and you will never have to rely on or work for anybody else 
ever, ever again. That's financial independence, my friend. And that's the only thing that I would want for you. So hopefully this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you're looking to support this channel, please hit the like and subscribe because it helps me get the word out on these videos. And lastly, if you want to know everything that I know about online business, make sure to subscribe to my email newsletter called The Digital CEO at natayaroy.com forward slash newsletter. Every single Saturday, you will get a five minute email with a strategy that you can implement in order to bring your dreams forward and build the kind of business and lifestyle that you truly want and deserve. I'm going to see you in the next episode. Until then, yeah, bye.